you know, looking forward, none of us knows how long this COVID is going to last in what form, but we do know that we're going to emerge as a community different and we want to rebuild the mid Columbia better, stronger, safer, healthier than we were even before COVID. Yeah. And that takes everyone. It takes all of the nonprofit agencies. You talk about partnerships, you know, that make, make it happen for you know, a, a single person at a time. And as those single people add up, it's hundreds and thousands of people. What big challenge do you see ahead in the next maybe three to six months for Columbia Industries as we're still going through phases? And as long mm -hmm. as we have to use word phase, we're not at the next normal. <laughs> um, and so what do you see as kind of the big challenge looming for Columbia Industries with, this is just one of the many programs that you have. Yeah, I, and, and thank you for asking that, you know, because one of the things we realize about the, the makeup of the Tri-Cities and the community is there are a lot of uh, specialized agencies that do really well in their field of expertise, but um, not necessarily are they able to access each other and to support each other in unison with, a, with an individual. And so that is, uh, especially when we're in the situation we are now where communication can be challenging and understanding can be challenging and outreach can be challenging um, that's going to be all the more important um, as we move forward it, it's always, it always has been important and as we've kind of moved towards you know when it comes to working with other agencies moving away from a situation where okay we're all trying to compete for resources you know two dogs and one bone but no rather that we are there for each other and what we can do to share and a strength in the other partner and agency is so beneficial, we need to do it all the more so. And uh, because the, you know, as what we're seeing is an increase in demand mm -hmm. for these services. Um, the reality is, is our community has been shook up by this situation. The economy is, is getting hurt. There's more people that are they're jobless. And as resources and, and some of these like unemployment checks start to kind of get, go away, it's gonna be a more severe and a more intense need. That can affect housing, that can affect all sorts of resources. So we think it'll compete, continue to get more intense. And so all the more so, we need to build those blocks right now and those partnerships so that we can be really develop those connections so that when people are coming through, we can really get these folks what they need as soon as they need it. 